Uh, Fred Weston joins me now from the Revolutionary Communist Party. Uh, Fred, can I ask you what your thoughts are on what happened in Amsterdam on uh, uh, the other day? What happened? Yeah. Well, um, if you look at the media and look for the facts, you will find that the, um, the general dominant narrative that's being presented is completely false. Um, there are videos available. I found them on Times of Israel. It's a newspaper from Israel. I found them on the Daily Mail, which I think your viewers probably appreciate as a paper. Videos which show um, thugs. Yuri Geller talked about thugs. There were thugs out there, yeah. They're called Maccabi uh, hooligans, Maccabi football fans. Climbing up the, um, the wall of a house to rip down a Palestinian flag, burn it. They sing, listen to this song. Ole, 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 let the IDF win and fuck the Arabs. Oh, sorry, ole, ole, ole. for the language. Sorry, I must apologise for that. That's we what can't, they were saying. We can't sorry. swear. I appreciate that you're okay. repeating something, but no swearing. Apologies okay. to the viewers. OK, listeners. I'm quoting what they're saying. I know, we, I appreciate that, but no swearing. Thank you. That's OK, OK, no worries. F star star K, um, the Arabs. And then the next part of that song is, why is school out in Gaza? The answer they, are, they chant, they chant. There are no children left there. That is a song those fans were singing before on the streets, they attacked a taxi driver with a crowbar, an Arab taxi driver who then calls the other taxi drivers, right? Mm. And of course they organize a counter protest to defend themselves against these hooligans. That's what was happening. Um, they, they, the, the narrative is completely false. They provoked. Look, they were in Athens in March. They attacked people on the streets simply for wearing kefirs because they looked like Arabs. This is what was going on. You're showing here, you always do this, this is your technique to try and, and negate what I'm saying, the way you the, use the videos. The facts are... This is what happened. It's reported in the Daily Mail. It's reported in the Metro. It's reported in many papers. They did this before the game. I'd just like to ask you a question, separate from this. Mm. Do, you, do you think it is the right thing to do at the beginning of a football match to have a minute's silence for the victims of the flooding in Valencia in Spain? Do you think that's the right thing to do? I, in my view, didn't let me be honest, I, I'd actually rather politics stayed out of football. So yeah, okay. taking the knee, politics. all that kind of thing, I, I don't really like no, any no, of not, it. Not there. the knee, not the knee. It was a minute's silence for the victims of the flooding. The yeah. ordinary people I mean, people look, that's, that's up to them. I just tend to leave all of that outside. If people want to do okay, that, you want to leave that's it. up to well, them. I'll tell I'm not, you, I don't, when I'm not... that minute's silence started, mm. the, gr the area of the stadium where the Maccabee fans were, erupted with flares and shouting and whistling, making a huge noise. And you know why? Because Spain has recognized Palestinian statehood. So they can't even be silent for one minute for the victims of a flood. And then they're presented as these poor victims of anti-Semitism. You know, this is this is actually look, belittling look, but the nobody, Holocaust. But nobody wants, um, you know, nobody wants violence on any side. So Palestinian or Israeli. Well, don't go and chant. No, nobody, don't go and no, chant nobody wants that. On the streets of but, Amsterdam. Yeah, and, and, I, and I don't like a lot of the football chanting and violence and whatever don't that's like there. Well, you end that's up. That's what I mean, started there's, this there's, mess. There's racism, there's all sorts in football, to black people, white people, everything. So, you know, sometimes, that, that's to me, that is how football seems to conduct itself. Um, but my, my question to you, really, is in terms of what happened after that, so all the, 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 the violence that happened afterwards, uh, apparently, this is according to some reports, uh, that there was meant to be a march, a pro-Palestinian march there, but then that was cancelled, but then they yes, showed up burned. anyway, and then there was the violence, and then, of course, they were... Uh, trying, I know the Jewish people were chanting, or apparently some of the people on the Israeli uh, side uh, were, were chanting things uh, against the Palestinians, uh, but not yes. dissimilar to from the river to the sea, but then from the other side. So, yeah, I, we, I'm aware that this wasn't just a one-sided situation. Can I just say something? Do you know how many children have been killed in Gaza? No. Do you? 16,500. How, 16, how, how do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? Oh, the Guardian, Financial Times, The Economist. Well, how, how do they know going? that? How, how, where did they get their figures from? How do they know? Yeah. It's a fact. From where? 
from Hamas. Where? where do you get your facts? From Hamas. I'm just asking you. I'm no, asking no, you. No, where... no, no. Oh, oh, from Hamas. Isn't it from, oh, isn't I it from the, the Hamas? I mean, I'm asking narrative. you, where do, where do the original figures come from? It's the, the United Nations, UNICEF, all of them agree on this. But they've been mean, given those numbers from Hamas, right? Act. Sorry? But they've given those numbers from the Hamas, the government in Gaza. So they've invented they've invented this. Well, no, the I'm just I'm just saying that sometimes being shot in the neck no, by snipers. I... Listen, the letters I don't think... from doctors working in Gaza who I said don't the think number that... of children with I don't bullets think in their that... necks. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Listen, I'm not disputing the fact that many people are dying there, and it needs to stop. The war needs to stop. I'm with you to, on the and way. And then you go to Amsterdam and you sing a song and you gloat about the killing of these children, and then you say, "Oh, we got attacked by other hooligans, by other fans." Well, sorry, it doesn't well, work. That well, well, you have with missed me. the bit where they did have a march planned, didn't they? So there was a pro-Palestinian protest there was a march pa planned, planned yeah, because there's, because there's Tel Aviv were there. Well, there because Tel Aviv were there. Well, because Tel Aviv were there. Sorry. Well, well they, they, they planned the march there because they knew that the Tel Aviv fans would be there who were Israeli. So the, the, the bottom line is that, well, mostly Israeli. So the bottom line is that it, it was not good either way, but it was, you're it sounds a bit premeditated. You know, you're trying, you know what you're trying to do? You put them, you put them on an equal level. You know, no, you put them on an no equal I don't level. think they're there equal at all. Here. There is a people here that's had tens of thousands of its, of its citizens killed in the bombing. Mm. There is another country which is powerfully armed. It's a nuclear power, has we, the most we, advanced technology and can destroy Gaza 10 times over. And mm. they're doing it. And you put them on the same level. Oh, they should talk to each other. Well, well why don't well, they stop well, well, I'm, the I'm not saying... Listen, I'm, I'm saying that if you look at it, the, first of all, October the 7th happened. I mean, you do acknowledge that that was bad and that it happened, right? What? what? October the 7th. You do acknowledge that was a terrible thing. I don't condone the killing of civilians, OK? Right. Innocent civilians. But, but, but you do... Uh, you, but I, you don't don't accept, I don't the accept the story... I don't accept the story of starting everything with October the 7th. Well, I no, go that's back why... But, 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 you put but, but, it in context. Can I ask you something? You know, they say... You keep going on about the missiles fired by Hamas, the missiles fired from Hezbollah. Why is the IDF killing people on the West Bank? Why are they taking the land of Palestinians away from them illegally, and nobody's saying anything? Why well, is that being? Th th this will because, be the, this will be the settlers. Because isn't you this? support you support the Zionist project of expelling the Palestinians. Netanyahu has said it. He's been quoted many times as saying it that the aim is to expel more Palestinians. In Gaza, have you seen what's going on? Last time you accused me yeah, of invented Listen, listen this. Fred, Fred, we can go around in circles with this. I've seen what's going on. Uh, I'm not happy with people dying. But let's be honest, this latest conflict did start. This latest wave of conflict started on October the 7th. And that was instigated no, by Hamas in Gaza. It, it was. Started on well, well, this particular conflict and the reason no, why there didn't. was some sort of peace and then this conflict it ignited everything that's no, happened subsequently. It did not start on October the 7th. No, it started it, a much, much longer ago. Well, listen, you want to link it we, to that. We're going to go around in circles, Fred. So I, I, we never get a good enough... You're going to have to come into the studio. We'll have a proper long chat, just you and me. But Fred Weston, thank you very much. He's uh, from the Revolutionary Communist Party.